Hey guys, and welcome back to Home Reviews. In this video, we're looking at another automated cat litter box. And you can see my cat right there is already excited about it. This is a Scooper SE. You can see on the box right there, it says Catlink Baby Max Cat Litter Box. And so this video is gonna be all about this new litter box. We're gonna be taking a more in-depth look at it, how it all works. And this is what came in the box. We're gonna be looking through a little bit in the user manual. It comes with your power adapter. It also comes with a deodorizer, a pack of bags, and also some stickers if you want to customize it a little bit. Now, the first thing I wanna do is show you a few things in this user manual. Okay, looking in this, you can see here it says, always be sure any cat in your household that might use the Scooper SE weighs at least 3.3 pounds. Cats must weigh 3.3 to 22 pounds to safely use the Scooper SE. Now with this, it has where it'll automatically clean itself. So it'll cycle every so many minutes, however long you set it up for. There's an app you can also use on your phone to help you do this or you can set this to manually. And if you do that, if you set it to manual, you can actually have cats smaller to go in and out of it. But then you gotta manually activate it so it'll cycle through that way. Uh, Cause this thing will only detect if a cat's in it if they weigh so many pounds and if a cat's detected in it and if it's starting to clean itself, it'll automatically stop. Therefore, if they don't weigh enough, it doesn't know there's a cat or a kitten in there. So if you have a smaller cat, you wanna make sure you set this on manual. Uh, that way you can just come in here and turn it on manually to cycle or clean itself. Now you can read through the rest of these if you want to by pausing this video. You can see a little more about how it all goes together, how it comes apart and what is where here and how to set it up. All the instructions is there. And here you can see how to connect it to Wi-Fi and then how you can download the app for it. And as you're gonna see on this one, it's quite a bit different because the tray for the litter is not under it, it's actually on top of it. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. And then this shows you here how to insert and activate the uh, deodorization hydrogel. These are your clean modes, the button functions and the indicators and what they mean. And you can see here that for the clean modes, there is a timer that you can schedule. You can set it to auto, which means a litter box will be automatically cleaned itself when your cat exits. And then there's manual, which you can manually start and pause the cleaning process yourself, which is what I was talking about earlier. And then it goes on to show you how to empty it, how you can move it, because it does actually have wheels on the bottom of it, so you can just kind of tip it and pull it if you need to move it. And then how to clean it also and how each section comes apart here. So let's go ahead and take more of a look at this. And on the front down here at the bottom, you can see it has all the indicator lights and what they mean if everything's working right. Uh, the color of the lights and everything, we're gonna get it plugged up here in a minute and turn it on. And now here on the side, you can see there's a couple buttons. And if I turn this just a little more, you can see it says start cleaning, click once, or you can connect it to Wi-Fi using the button. And then the bottom button says add litter click once and add litter and then click again to pave the litter. Empty the globe, long press for three seconds. So if you wanna empty everything out of it, you hold it down for three seconds. Now let's take a look at this top. So I wanna show you how this works for uh, catching the litter. So this here, if we take this, we can open it. And this is your litter bag. And what I really like about this litter bag, it, it is secure. And in fact, there's, I can't see how there could be any type of leakage with this one, which I get a lot of comments about on my, on my other videos from some of the other litter boxes that I've reviewed with leakage. This one here uh, snaps on really tight actually. So let me show you how this works. Over here on the side, you have a tab. So let me just pull in on it. And then on this side, you have another one and it unsnaps. And then your bag, you just pull over top this orange ring right here which wraps around it, you can see it right here, it goes around this ring. And this ring is what seals it. So when you change your bag, you're just gonna put another bag up through this ring, loop it over the edges like this one is, and then you snap it right back in here over top of this. And you can see it is nice, tight, and snug all the way around. And so when this cycles and when it turns over and down, that's when the litter falls into the bag and then it cycles back upwards again. And then down here in the bottom is a special pad. That's what you pour the litter on and you don't want to go over the top. If you see in back there in the back, it says max. 
uh, the line right there, and you don't want to fill it over top of that. So let's go ahead and get this plugged up and see what it'll do. Oh, and I forgot to mention on this side over here too, I didn't show you that yet, you have this knob. So on this knob, you can see here, if you turn it this way, uh, that allows you to empty it. And then if you, if you keep it on this way, it'll just clean it. And then you can see there's some notes here. But by pulling this out, this is where you also put in that gel, which helps to deodorize it. So we'll be doing that in just a second also, uh, once we get it plugged up. Now that we got it plugged up, what we can do is we can come over here and hit this button one time. And that's going to face this upwards so we can pour the cat litter in it. So we're going to wait till it stops. Okay, so once you add the litter in there and you hit the button again, it takes it a couple minutes for it to actually fully rotate forward and then start leveling out. Okay, so what I had to do was I pushed this button one time and this whole thing lifted up. This actually faced up in the air. I put some cat litter in it. I hit this button again and then after about a minute, it turned back down and kind of leveled out and you can see the litter in there now. I have a cat that's already interested in it. So this is the deodorizer here. It had a little tab you can see on the floor there that I pulled off that was on top of this. And what I'm gonna do is put it inside of this cap and then we're gonna place it back on this knob. So it goes in there just like that and then it gets placed back in here. Just like that. Okay, so I wanna show you how this litter box cleans itself because it does take it a while to cycle, a lot longer than the other uh, cat litter boxes that I have, but I'll go ahead and give you an example. So let me go ahead and just pour a little bit of water in here. Just leave it like that. Now normally it would wait about five minutes once it detects a cat has been in there and then it'll cycle. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and automatically cycle it unless my cat decides to go in there. But the other thing I'll tell you is that there is a sensor right down here on this black thing. And if a cat gets close to it while it's cycling, it will detect it. A blue light will come on and then it'll stop cycling as a, as a safety feature. But let me go ahead and cycle this. You can see how it keeps pausing. It just spins just a little bit and then it stops and it spins and it stops and it just does it so gradual. It does take kind of a while for it to go through it, but it is very thorough. So if you have any of these other litter boxes and if you know sometimes how that litter gets stuck to it, uh, I guess it's more likely to come out because it does go this slow. But once it does turn all the way and you can see down there, uh, right in that area, that's where the trash bag is. So that's where the big clumps of litter will fall down and go into it. And there you can see it fell right into the bag and then it gets pulled back up tight uh, holding all the smell in there so it doesn't come out. Now you can see down there that little blue shield exclamation so it detected me walking past it when I did and that's why it stopped so it quit rotating as a safety feature. So it's been about three days now since I've had this set up and one thing that I've noticed a lot is my cats prefer using this litter box over my other ones. But what I would recommend is you buy a mat for it. You can see here on the floor that litter does easily get uh, scattered outside of it. But as with any, any litter box, you want to have some kind of a mat put in front of it to catch a lot of that. 
Now you can see that blinking there, the red and the blue, and that means that the waste bin is full. So I'm gonna open this up and check it, and we're gonna see how easy it is to take this bag out and uh, get another one put in there. So we're gonna open this up. And this is the bag, and it is definitely pretty full. It's got a lot of litter in it. And you can see here, it's still nice and tight and secure on here. So let's unfasten this, and then this one. You can see it is completely full. So we're just going to take this off of this bag here. Of course, this would be much easier to do if I had both hands available. And then it even has little ties right here. This is makes it really nice. You just tie it up, throw it away, and look. Pretty much as clean as can be. You can see just a few specks there, and that is it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is an app for this. I have not downloaded it yet, but with the app, there are more settings you can do. Um, you can keep track of your cats, how often they're going in there. You can also set a timer on how often it will cycle through and clean itself after cats go in there. Right now, I think mine's set on default by like five minutes. And uh, he's going to try to go in there anyway. That's it for this video, guys. If you want to learn more, check out the link below this video.